DIY and I look a hot mess. I mean, really, it's hot. I threw on one of my old uh, Daytona Beach. We went to spring break one year and this is one of my old Daytona Beach t-shirts in Florida. And yeah, it is hot. I'm over here painting at a friend's house doing a project. This is what the paint looks like. I purchased this from Walmart. I chose black because of the theme, the theme I'm going with for my vanity set. This is Devo Jean, y'all, what's going on? I hope y'all take advantage. Buy these things from the thrift store, guys, and um, you can change it. You can do whatever you wanna do. So everything that I'm painting, I bought it from Goodwill. So I certainly hope you guys like it and you have to be nice and neat and have a neat hand I hope you like my project. Smooches. These are the stools that I purchased from Goodwill. And I have one covered with newspaper, the seat, and the other one not. I'm about to cover this one too. I don't care for the brown legs on these stools, so I am about to paint them black. For my vanity set, I am going to design and decorate these stools. So here's the before. Yes, here's the before. And I will be showing you the after. This is Debel Jean. Hey, how y'all doing today? <laughs> and I am about to start my little project on my chairs. And this is the kind of paint that I am using from Walmart. I have my first layer on this stool here. These mirrors here. I am about to paint the frame, the picture frame. Hey y'all, this is Diva John again, and I just did the second layer of spraying the chairs. Here are my picture frames. a whole lot of sun out here y'all it's hot as hell right here it needs to be sprayed these i will do a second layer as well as soon as it's dry i out of the way i'm gonna move my right away our stools again now we're gonna start the big project okay Here's where my talent comes in. And this is what I am about to use. Some E6000 and some glitter. Go down the leg, some glue. So we're gonna go down the middle. Always remember to keep your lining down at the bottom so you can save your glitter. And when you put this glue on, you want to go quick. I put enough on there so it all cover. Like so. Okay, so I am taking this glue and I'm going around the edges of this frame. I 
Now be careful with the glue, because it's sticky. Very, very sticky. So what I'm doing, you want to rub it around in circular motion so you can spread the glue. Don't forget, you do that strip first and then circular motions. Real light. Okay? Let's put a little bit more right there. And we have to do this really, 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 really quick. Okay? So all that is covered. Okay? So we're going to put the glue down and then put the glitter on. Okay? Let's do the glitter. See how you lay that glitter on there? Well, let's go ahead and drop that glitter there. And whatever is over or a little bit too much, that's why you use a newspaper. So whatever is left over, you can keep it. You can keep the glitter, I mean. So you just dab it. Right where the glue is. I took the top off because it's way too slow. And you can't be slow when you're putting this glue here. And um, you know, with the glue it dries fast, especially out outside on my friend's porch. Okay, so that's one. There you have it. That's one down. The glue is saturated like so. And the way you put that glue on, make sure you're nice and neat. You don't want to go over because then you'll be messing up your project, okay? Same thing with this one. Let's go ahead and drop this glitter on here. This project is very reasonable. Of course, the mirror picture frame, the mirror frames came from the thrift store for a dollar. The glitter, I think it was a dollar and some change. The glue was a dollar and some change. And uh, that's it. Oh, the paint was uh, $3 and some change because I didn't want that flat black paint on my project. I needed a little bit of shine. Hey y'all, this is Steve Eljean and thank you again for watching this video. And I stopped in Goodwill um, yesterday and just picked up a few things that I really needed. I forgot I bought some peanuts and I need to be killing these things right now. These are the best peanuts ever, guys. Wasabi soy. They are delicious. And I bought this cute, cute, I mean cute, pearl pillow, guys. Take a look at this pearl pillow. Is it the cutest thing ever? OMG. A pearl pillow. Like, seriously, a pearl pillow. <laughs> this thing was a dollar and 17 cents. Goodwill. <laughs> so cute. I love it. It is so adorable. So I'm just going to sit it right here. Anyway, let's move along. I bought some white fabric and I didn't buy any clothes. Guys, I'm trying to get rid of those clothes I have. I bought, it's really not fabric. It's like, looks like maybe a tablecloth, whatever. But I use it for when I do some of my videos and I need backdrops. Guys, if you don't know, here's the secret. If you need a backdrop, buy you some sheets. <laughs> Yes, yes, bought, and of course it was two seventeen, and it's that. I saw this monitor for a dollar and sixteen cent, and this is my second one. I have a security system in my house, and it's made by D. Valjean. Now I do have <laughs> ADT, but. When I'm sleeping, I kind of sleep hard, but pretty big, big house. So this is what I use to hear. Even when, um, you know, people is knocking on the door and I, right now I don't have a doorbell. So I need to go to Home Depot and get another one because the first one broke. But in the meantime, sometime when I'm taking a shower or if I'm in the room um, on my computer, I can't hear who's knocking at the door. So I can hear now when I plug up one of my monitors here in the living room and then I have one for the kitchen. So yeah, so both ways I use these just for security reasons and just for when I can't hear when I'm way in the back of the room because I have such a big place. 
it's hard for me to hear anything up front. So this is my security system as well because it works, guys. I don't know if you are aware of this, but baby monitors are more than using it for when you have, you know, when you're listening into your baby to check on a baby. It's security too. So FYI, okay, thought for them. Anyway, I bought this clear little, and it's nice and it's heavy and it's clear and I'm going to put my makeup in this. And this was a dollar and 16 cent. It's really heavy. It's not one of those little cheapy thingies that you get from the dollar. And also guys, look what I bought. A Cortex curling wand. Pull up Cortex online on, um, just Google Cortex. Google Cortex and see how much it costs. This thing is very, very expensive. Guys, you wouldn't believe. Y'all wouldn't believe how much I paid for this. It's the whole Cortex set. I paid $2.16 for this thing. And then I purchased some more fabric, which I'm sure it's like a, um, and I don't like my stuff all when you get it nice because they have it so nice and neat on the hanger that's why i have to put it up but this just like the white one i don't know if it's like a curtain or whatever it's pure black but keep in mind when you're doing your videos you need backdrops go to goodwill you'll have a nice backdrop okay and all i paid was two dollars and 17 cents for this and it's black so yeah you can keep it nice and and straight so it won't be wrinkled I have several steamers I'm going to use to steam out this here but yeah I bought some more fabric here and I got another one too which is so 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 nice and it's really really pretty real pretty check it out is that nice or what isn't that pretty yes it's going to be a backdrop isn't that nice I love it same thing two dollars seventeen cent you can't beat them you cannot beat these nice fabrics which you can use for backdrops. FYI guys, I'm telling y'all my secret. Mm -hmm. Also, if you see the white stuff on the side here guys, that is boric acid. For every six to seven months, I make sure that I fumigate my place. <laughs> And I mix up my own concoction. I go to Home Depot. I never see roaches or any bugs or any lizards in my home. I'm showing you the things that I got from Goodwill yesterday as well. And of course, here are the chairs, the bar stools that I purchased from Goodwill. And here is the finished look of my bar stools um i have it sitting on plastic here so it can continue to dry so the glitter can continue to dry i like them to sit for some days just to make sure they're dry 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 so here's the finished result and the finished product of my diy yeah so take a look at them guys this is what my bar stools look like. They're nice, right? And what I did, I only did one, one leg, one strip of glitter on each because that's just the look I wanted. And they turned out nice, just the way I liked it. So I put a nice little plastic bag down there and I put an old runner rug down there just to be on the safe side. 
Yeah, so that's nice, right? Seat's turn. <laughs> Is that crazy or what? The seat actually turns. That is so freaking neat, right? This is one heck of a cute set. Isn't it cute, guys? Very nice. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm glad that you all were able to stop by to check me out. And don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think about my how I decorated and designed my chairs for my vanity set and my mirror so you'll be able to see that as well. Thank you again for watching. Namaste. So here's the mirrors guys. I took the paper off so they were a dollar and 25 cent for a set of three. I got them from the thrift store for a dollar and 25 cents. So they match the chairs and nice DIY, right guys? Really nice. And I like the paint because it's shiny. It's not dull at all. And I'm not going to touch them guys because family, because they're still kind of, you know, like I said, I, I want them to at least sit for about at least, at least three three days i want them to sit three four days not touch them or anything so i'm not going to even bother them i'm going to let it be and call it a day there you have it that's it DIY and I look a hot mess. I mean, really, it's hot. I threw on one of my old uh, Daytona Beach. We went to spring break one year and this is one of my old Daytona Beach t-shirts in Florida. And yeah, it is hot. I'm over here painting at a friend's house doing a project. This is what the paint looks like. I purchased this from Walmart. I chose black because of the theme, the theme I'm going with for my vanity set. This is Devo Jean, y'all, what's going on? I hope y'all take advantage. Buy these things from the thrift store, guys, and um, you can change it. You can do whatever you want to do. So everything that I'm painting, I bought it from Goodwill. So I certainly hope you guys like it and you have to be nice and neat and have a neat hand. I hope you like my project. Smooches. These are the stools that I purchased from Goodwill. And I have one covered with newspaper, the seat, and the other one not. I'm about to cover this one too. I don't care for the brown legs on these stools, so I am about to paint them black. For my vanity set, I am going to design and decorate these stools. So here's the before. Yes, here's the before. 